teams of Floyd FC and Far Eastern University. We continue with the other semi-final match here inside the PFF National Training Center. It is Tuloy FC in red and the Far Eastern University in green and gold, their signature colors. As we take a look real quick at the uh, starting 11 for both sides. Tuloy FC, of course, will be led by their two-pronged attack of Jenny Perez and Lorraine Evangelista, their two top goal scorers. And the head coach is Henry Saul. Look for all of these people from Tuloy FC to make their mark in the semifinals. And of course, for Far Eastern University, the player to look for is Junessa Torrentin. Player number five, the team captain, with 12 goals in the elimination round. Of course, she will be the focal point here for Coach Let Dimson. But it is a loaded roster for the FEU Lady Tamaraus as we begin this match in just a short while. Final reminders being sent out by our match officials. Timothy De Castro is our crew chief, so to speak, and the assistants. Rizalyn Torres, Kim Zorin Abuel. Fourth official is Sherry May Bernabe. The referee assessor is Ray Ritaga. And your match commissioner is Mark Ian Baldo. Tuloy FC and FEU. The first time these two sides squared off, it was Tuloy winning. Also, 1-0 such a close competitive that match was FEU of course trying to change the situation let's see if they can pull it off Deloy FC composed of players who are in their teenage years They're composed of young, eager individuals who of course just want a brighter future in the sport of football. And they're going up against FEU, one of the most established women's football programs in the collegiate ranks. And here we go, Tuloy FC playing from left to right in their all red and of course FEU contrasting with green and gold. We are off here inside the PFF National Training Center in Carmona Cavite. UP has just entered the final after eliminating, after knocking out Kaya FC Luilo in a grueling penalty shootout. And so there is just one more ticket left. Will it be Tuloy? Will it be FEU? We are about to find out. And already a potential counter here. Although Tolentin does not keep it in play. It is uh, sent away by Tuloy. 
Although, of course, Inday Tolentin, player number five, has been the integral player here for FEU. It is a collective effort that has put them in the number three seed. And now they're up against Tuloy. Interestingly, the last game that they played was against each other. And once again, it was Tuloy coming out on top 1-0. They go to the ground. The through ball was well deflected by the red shirts. Fontamilia. Just outside the box. And Jonalyn Lokban will take possession away. Early moments of this semi-final tussle between Tuloy and FEU. And it looks like Tuloy FC is on their first try. That cross does not meet anyone. Although Evangelista, or that was Bolivar, made the run for Tuloy. Although they were not able to connect. Micah Abeto is the goalkeeper for Tuloy. Also wearing the captain's armband. And she's had her share of the spotlight in the elimination round. Some quality saves from their keeper for FEU it's uh, Jessame Lehayan of course under coach let them zone the FEU women's football program has been pretty much successful. And here they go. FEU all in all with 10 UAAP championships. And they want to reclaim the crown, you know, which is why of course, they are part of the four UAAP schools that participated in the PFF Women's Cup. The others, of course, being UP, UST, and Ateneo. First set piece of the evening for the Tamaraus. It's Tolentin. Who sends one into the goal, perhaps a bit too ambitious from long distance. Tolentin able to impede the path of that ball, wins back a possession for FEU. Fontamillas sends it back. Tuloy able to bother. And this is the game they want to play if you're Tuloy as we saw Jenny Perez try to make a run for that ball. 
Tuloy, they like to counter, of course, with those young, fresh legs. And try to outrun their opponents. But uh, FEU will definitely have something up the sleeve to contain that. And just as we speak, here come Tuloy. And a goal kick for FEU. Tolentin lobs one into the on-rushing teammate, but they're unable to attend to that. Eight minutes have gone by and neither team yet to establish clear control of the match. We go back and forth. FEU, of course, in their signature green and gold playing from right to left. And Tuloy FC in all red for this evening. A slot to join UP in the final at stake. This is your 2022 PFF Women's Cup. Well, that was a risky move from the keeper of Toloy going out of the box and then making the challenge. It does pay off somehow. And uh, of course, if your FEU among the UAAP teams that uh, participated here as we see this through ball in a corner one by Far Eastern University, among the UAAP schools who played in this tournament, of course, FEU was the best in terms of their elimination round record. That's something they want to carry over, not just here, but also in the tournament that is about to unfold next year. The UAAP football tournament is back. Although their women's team delivery here, it grazes the mitts of the keeper and retrieved by Janela Miravite. And finally, Abeto has it in her hands. Tuloy FC, obviously, not to be counted out here. Number two seed after the elimination as FEU's keeper, Lehayan, also goes outside of her spot to avoid further problems for FEU as it was uh, Arjane Bolivar on rushing. Barely made it in time. This is Kayabyab. Doctora. Fontamillas to Tolentin. Hard challenge by Salige. Play on, says the referee. That through ball 
was precise but too strong. A bit of a more toned down first 12 minutes here in the first half. Tolentin. FEU will lose possession here. Let's see if uh, Tuloy can capitalize. This is Mary Rose Salige. Evangelista tried to track it down. They collide in the midfield. Salige to Perez or Evangeliza. And this could be a counter for FEU. They go to the ground, threading the needle that time. Splendid defense by Tuloy as they win it back just like that. They go back to Ponte Millas. And this is something that you like from Deloy FC throughout the elimination round. They know how to find the balance between pressing if there is a counter attack and you know just being more laid back to their approach, especially in the midfield. That time around, FEU is a foot race for control of the ball inside the box, but that will, of course, not be of a challenge for Abeto. Galatin gets in the way. Jonalyn Lukban. Again, the players of Tuloy. Very young, very eager, full of potential. Mostly in their teenage years. Out of, of course, Tuloy Foundation in Alabang. And the kind of program they put up, of course, to get these individuals close to the sport of football, the beautiful game, of course, only sets up a bright future for them, not just in terms of the sport, or perhaps, you know, getting scholarships, getting into universities, but also life in general, as we see Lukban. Maneuvering past two defenders. However, it's going to be one back by FEU. 16 minutes in. Once again, this is your PFF Women's Cup semifinals. UP beating Kaya by way of penalty shootout earlier this evening and now. It is either Tuloy or FEU to join them. Evangelista, you can expect her to just put on the Jets. It stopped that time. The same goes for FEU.
Well, these two teams as well, obviously Evangelista. Is uh, obviously taken down by the opposing player. Well, Lorraine Evangelista, the top scorer for Tuloy with nine goals. Is uh, also one of the smallest, if not, players in the competition. She's just 14 years old, but already making a mark here in the PFF Women's Cup. Deep into the right flank for FEU. They get it into the box. Well, they manage. Lots of space, and that is the opening goal. FEU finds the back of the net. And it is Katrina Magpitang. who takes the opener for FAU in the 18th minute. What a deep, fine run that was. And then from there, it was all to Lois scrambling. Great recognition. And then on the touch, Tolentin sets up Magbitang, who does the rest. What a sequence that was, and now Tuloy is down Goal against FEU. By player number 12, Katrina Magbitang. This is, uh, of course, a contrast to how Tuloy and FEU played in the elimination round with Tuloy, of course, winning 1-0. It's a reversal of roles so far for the Lady Tamaraos. And now it's a matter, of course, being able to sustain and limiting Tuloy's cracks at, of course, a potential equalizer. But there is, of course, an eternity of football ahead. Only 20 minutes in. Lukban is able to maneuver herself past two. But Tuloy has to provide some support here. Lukban sends across. Clearance made on the second ball. Halike is dispossessed as Tolentin will once again kickstart the offensive here for FEU. They go to the left. Magbitang once again. As Halike tries to bother and finally Tuloy. Evangelista able to send it. Although Bolivar. It just goes past number 16, RJ. Bolivar seeing a good look at uh, Jessame Lehayan once again whistle is blown once again our referee is Timothy De Castro Christine Huleza, number three for FEU. Perhaps brush contact in the eyes of the referee. Nevertheless, a foul was called. Fontamilla is barely keeping it in play. Now FEU will take a more deliberate and patient approach as they have the upper hand. Oh 
Magbitang. Touch passing by FEU. Bolivar. Evangelista. Lukban. Chases the ball, but there is too much speed. We are at the halfway point of the first half. 23 minutes in. And if you were just joining us, once again, Katrina Magbitang, the breakthrough goal in the 18th minute for the gold and green. FEU in the driver's seat, leading 1-0 as it stands. Coach Let Dimson. Fontamillas, Tolentin, the captain. And referee says it was a foul on Tolentin. I think she was uh, caught in real time sneaking that forearm, extending it towards the body of a Tuloy player. Doctora to the right side, FEU go. They go to the ground once again. This is where they found the setup for the opening goal. And they win a corner for that effort. Well, you can expect FEU to keep on pouncing on those breakthrough runs. They earn a corner. That is a perfect delivery. Just denied by Rollion, who is one of the taller players here for Toloy, using that size advantage to her favor. Second corner for this instance for FEU. That was very close for Tuloy. Well, Maika Abeto perhaps telling her teammates she already had it from that angle as it was too deep for FEU to try and cut back and have a decent shot even. Oh, that's the last thing you want to happen, an own goal. Some pressure here from Tuloy. It is a battle for possession one momentarily by FEU. And a through ball once again, it is going to be Abeto who makes the save. It is uh, still within the penalty area. And she just decides to collect it and use her body as well to guard. FAU able to control. But from that position, not enough power to contest Abeto. She just collects and sends it out. Katrina Magbitang feeling it, of course, after scoring the opening goal for FEU.
Another opportunity here for FEU to Lintin. But probably too much unselfishness as we see it on the replay. Magbitang. And then the 1 2. Although Tolentin had to make the effort to retrieve that ball. Too deep of an angle for FEU. But nevertheless, a great try. And the whistle is blown once again. Looks like that will be Janela Albino that time getting caught. Talike had it momentarily. And it is retrieved back by Rollon. FEU with a bit of pressure here from the back. Tolentin, look at her just chase and try to provide. And it pays off for FEU. Magbitang once again. And a great effort by Tuloy impeding the progress of that ball. They will try to turn this into a counter with no less than Lorraine Evangelista. No other recourse for FEU but to clear. That was Cuenco who sends it out to delay the intended attack for Tuloy. Salige, a bit of a miscommunication there, but also credit to the defense of FEU. Bolivar unable to move at all to try and maneuver past the defense and spin and then get it. Janli Fondamillas. Arjen Bolivar getting physical with her. That wins a possession back for Tuloy. Mermal. Sends a bit of a long one. But Jenny Perez out of position initially. Bolivar once again. <laughs> Trying to get creative that time was FEU, but Albino unable to handle on the 1 2. Could have been a counter for them. Perez, one back by FEU, Kayabyab, and they make that deep run into the right flank once again, here is the lob, could this be the second goal, not the finest of touches, and Tuloy will escape trouble that time around. We have gone past the uh, half hour mark in the first half and the uh, FEU 
so far with the advantage. Tuloy, although at the moment on a potential counter here. But they run out of real estate to make that happen. We have an early substitution here for Tuloy. Player number 11 on your screens, Ella May Mercado, will replace Karen May Mangantang. Substitution for Tuloy FC. Player number 20, Karen May Mangantang, replaced by player number 11, Ella May Mercado. Midfield for midfield here for Tuloy in that uh, replacement. Bit of an adjustment early on. Coach Henry Saul calling the shots for Tuloy FC. Janli Pondamillas once again. A oh, great skill by the goal scorer Magbitang who gives it up there into the left flank being bothered by Rollon. And finally Salige will make the clearance. For a moment the follow up there for FEU. This should have been Definitely. You know, we've seen that ball bounce with a lot of height, especially in an artificial turf as the PFF National Training Center. And it's really up to the players to play with quite more physicality as that is an obvious handball call. With Albino. Lukban sends it to the left back for now. And again, other than that opening goal by FEU, it's been pretty even in terms of possessions and chances created here. Tuloy and FEU, they both made it to their attacking third. Or well, perhaps FEU with a start with a slight edge. In terms of uh, Chances created, especially with the likes of uh, Katrina Magbitang and Tolentin, the captain, making the connection. Albino to Fontamillas and Tuloy. Definitely, they will not give an inch here as they've learned from that the hard way in the 18th minute. Magbitang, the goal scorer here, the only difference in our scoreline so far. FEU holding a one goal advantage. They would definitely want to sustain this. This is a long one. Perez gets to it. And now Tuloy. Second ball. That was just great denial by FEU at the start. The back line. Doing their work.
Perez was trying to connect to, of course, Evangelista. And like what we said on the top of the coverage, that uh, two-pronged attack, Evangelista and Perez accounting for 16 goals combined. Albino keeps it alive. And FEU try to be more patient here. They know they have the lead. And they still have to execute in the particular way designed for this contest against a young and eager Tuloy side. Evangelista is taken down and Tuloy wins it back. Beto will get a touch once again. Rollon. And Evangelista, you know, as young as she is, also one of the most vocal players for Tuloy. Lorraine Evangelista, number 10, at the uh, bottom of your screens. For Tuloy. Tuloy, of course, is playing in all red. FEU in their classic green and gold. The ladies of Coach Let Dims On. Doctora. They go to the other side once again, but that time Kalatin attends to that ball. Sends it clear. More pressure being applied here by FEU. But they have to be calculated with this as Tuloy loves to go on a counter. Already in the 40th minute of the first half, five more minutes plus added time. Before we enter the break. Abedo finally decides. Intended for Salige. Tolentin lost her balance. She's she was disappointed in herself. Could have been another attack in their attacking third for FEU. Mermal. FEU continues to press high. And that is exactly why. Albino. But Ivan Elisa from behind. Very sneaky that time around. And no other choice there but to clear for Magbitang. Tuloy might have hurried too much. That was Perez and Evangelista. Now Perez again. Do they have the numbers here? Bolivar sends it back to Perez. Is able to turn. Play on, says the referee. 
Tuloy almost had a chance. That ball just keeps on ricocheting past a few players. And it's going to be FAU ball in a set piece. The first they've earned in a, a bit of a distance. Like uh, Jane Cuenco will be the one to send it in. Getting some last moment instructions from coach let them on gets a good curve into that ball and the Beto obviously feeling that she should have done a better job better quality approaching that ball we'll see that once again good English and then Abeto just dodges it into a corner kick for FEU. About two more minutes plus added time. It is deflected once again by Tuloy's goalkeeper. And finally into a goal kick for Tuloy FC. Salige. It's been this kind of an approach for FEU in the last 10 15 minutes of the first half. FEU, they continue to go into the ground. Von Damilias. Tolentin chasing that ball. She does. And on that connection, as close as it could get for FAU, Tolentin beating two. All she needed to do, Kayabiab, was to make contact with that ball in the far post. As uh, Abeto, the goalkeeper from the opposite side, nowhere to be found. In that picture, only one minute of added time. Not much uh, extra activity here in the first half. So we could be looking at the final few Additional time, one possessions of this half. Evangelista. Well, early on, Tuloy, they've had their share of runs in their attacking half. But uh, FEU has been in control, that is for sure, in the last 20 minutes or so. They will take this 1-0 lead into the halftime break and that is the confirmation Far Eastern University on top 1-0 after an 18th minute incursion by Katrina Magbitang Ladies and gentlemen the halftime score is Tuloy FC 0 Far Eastern University 1 we thank you all for coming today and encourage you to visit the official Facebook page, 
FB. You see, so the action is Katrina. The uh, first <laughs> pass. As uh, once again, FAU able Katrina to control. Pitang. And then another, but it was denied by the keeper. Deep into the right flank for FAU. They get it into the box. Well, they manage. Lots of space. That was and that is the opening goal from and Katrina it is Katrina Bagpita Bagpita on the assist by Indai Tolentin. What a FAU setup that able was. to control. And then he tried to double the lead. Although Abeto will make an opportunity effort. Another opportunity here for FAU. And then the opportunity for FAU. Although a difficult angle at that. And it's then a good curve into that ball. Curve into the ball. Chasing that ball, she does. Tolentin. This was the final. No, that could have been connection for FEU, but nevertheless, they will take this 1 0 advantage into the break. We will return with the second half. This is your PFF Women's Cup semifinals.
And we are moments away from the start of the second half here inside the PFF National Training Center. Still in Carmona, Cavite as Far Eastern University has the upper hand. They are one half away from joining UP in the final. But of course, Tuloy has other things in mind. This is the second semi-final of your PFF Women's Cup 2022. And Katrina Magbitang, of course, in the 18th minute, scoring for the Lady Tamaraos as they take a 1-0 advantage. Seeing a good look at uh, Junessa Tolentin. Lorraine Evangelista and Jenny Perez moments earlier on your screens. 28 goals in between those three players. The best of the best of the PFF Women's Cup. Second half action underway. Deloy FC once again in all red. And FEU playing left to right in their green and gold. No changes for FEU and Tuloy. 45 minutes separating FEU from the final but Tuloy you, you can expect them to put up a fight here as they seek the equalizer they will have no other choice but to do so FEU possession as he kick things off in the second half to the opposite side. Julieza. Good defending that time around by Lukban. But FEU. Jen Dolabing. For a moment, almost won it back for FEU. Rollion. Emily Rullion lost it on the throw in and a golden chance for FEU. Anami Mermal getting into the picture at the last moment as Indai Tolentin had the lead. Rullion once again, this time targeting Evangel Ista, their top goal scorer in the elimination round with nine goals. Fulneza, it just ricochets off the body of a Tuloy player. Galatin.
Mermal doing her best to keep it in play, and she does. Micah Abeto. FAU, they keep going to the ground, trying to thread those through balls past the defense. But uh, Tuloy FC, knowing better. Tolentin, it's a foot race between her and Calatin. Able to send across. FEU has been splendidly in that right flank, doing the damage against Tuloy. Good effort by Kayabyab. Send in play, but not the finest of balls as uh, that was obviously intended for a cross. Did not have the proper contact with her boots. Micah Abeto, of course, as you see on your screens, in yellow. The shot stopper for Tuloy. Catherine Calatin. He give it back to Abeto. They're being patient here talking about Tuloy FC. Early minutes of the second half. 52nd minute overall. It is going to be FEU once again to control. Saliga doing her best to try and dispossess Kayabia, but to no avail. And if you're Tuloy, save for a few looks where we thought they would have the counter, they have not really connected that much from final third to midfield to attacking third. Whatever FEU has talked about prior to this match has worked well for their side in just trying to neutralize Tuloy and especially the players that love running for them. It will end up with Kayabyab with lots of room in the right flank once again. But they go to the ground A second chance for FEU as they keep the ball to their half. Tulabing. Intended 1-2 back for Tulabing, but someone got in the way. Kayabyab. And a great effort there by Doctora. And the flag is up. We'll credit the effort for FAU here. They have been putting on the pressure for Tuloy. And a great effort there by As, Doctora. Uh, their keeper, Micaela Abeto, goes down, colliding with one of the players. From FAU, she will be receiving the attention that she needs.
Deloy SC's uh, defense so far here in the second half. They have not given up a clear shot for FAU. And that is something they have to sustain to give themselves a realistic chance. Our match officials uh, giving Abeto all the time to recover. And she is back up on her feet. Always a good sign for everyone of us here. As we always say, we're all brothers and sisters in arms in the beautiful game. 56 minutes have gone by as it is obviously Tuloy possession after an offside call we restart the action here and Tuloy looking to create an opportunity on offense Abeto had to go out of her area to clear and now Evangelista Intended for Perez. We are closing in on the uh, one hour mark in this second semi final. Glad to have you join us once again here inside the uh, PFF National Training Center, which has been the home of the uh, PFF Women's Cup this year. Women's uh, club football finally back in full swing after a long two and a half year wait due to the uh, pandemic. Far Eastern University earned themselves another trip to that corner Tin Julieza made the touch but it's finally cleared second ball FEU Rollon. And uh, if anything, well, Tuloy is getting to their spots right now. Lukban fighting really hard. But she concedes it to Kayabyab. As we see on that replay again, the extension of the forearm. Now we can expect Tuloy to obviously build up from these opportunities that they are getting in their attacking half. It's been quite a better last five minutes for them. Rollon. And not the finest of first touches for Galatin. Is that ball just goes out a miscommunication there for Deloy and that will be another goal for FEU Lailani Kayabyab 
miscommunication on the part of Abeto and one of the defenders for Tuloy and that leads to another goal for Far Eastern University. We'll see that here, Rollon and Abeto and then the quick change in direction for Kayabiab. She turns even before it hits the back of the net. Goal for Far Eastern University by player number 18, Lilhani Kayabiab. Just as we approach the one hour mark, FEU definitely now in control. 2-0, they double their advantage. As we enter the final third of this match for regulation time. A costly communication error there on the part of Deloy. And that might spell the difference between entering the final and being relegated to the battle for third. Far Eastern University might have just sealed it with that conversion. Still 29 minutes of football at the very least to be played here. Will Tuloy give themselves a fighting chance? Mercado. Look at FEU just continuing to execute well. They have not just neutralized both Perez and Evangelista and prevented Tuloy from doing activity in the midfield. They have also carried out what plan they've had for this evening. Huleza. But both Kayabyab and Tolentin are not yet there. Sixty three minutes here with the Far Eastern University Lady Booters, Lady Tamarouse, with the advantage here. And a good decision on the part of Jessamay Lehayan, leaving her post and meeting the ball as it was Jenny Perez trying to rush and get to it. And now someone from the Tuloy side is having a bout with cramps. Looks like that is number 16, RJ Bolivar. Ball continues. They decide to reduce themselves to 10. Lukban. Lobs one in. But a difficult angle to meet that ball. The time continues to tick here in the venue and the chance continues to slim down for Tuloy. Katrina Magbitang in the 18th. Layani Kayabyab in the 59th. Closing in on the one hour mark. And now FEU, they are enjoying this 2-0 cushion. Which as has been 
the case in the semifinals. A big margin to enjoy and work with. Another corner here for FEU. They have controlled that department. They have created more chances for a shot throughout the match. Quite too low on the delivery. 25 more minutes in regulation. Tulabing. We'll send it to the back. Once again, Doctora. Jade Halike whistled for the foul right there in the midfield. Bolivar has slowly made her way back. Tuloy back to 11. That one collected by Abeto from Kayabiab, who chose to shoot it directly instead of fishing out an assist. Tolentin and Abeto in the right spot for that header, which didn't have that much of a direction. Counter attack for Tuloy on the extra pass, but the defense was there. And that will redeem the goalkeeper for FEU, Jessame Lehayan, who went outside of the goal area. She is very fortunate to have three FEU defenders disrupting the shot from Tuloy. And obviously a hurried shot there from Jenny Perez. Perhaps also the frustration settling in for Tuloy. Well, that was the closest chance they were going to get. Jenny Perez thought she had it, did not make an effort to put power into that shot. It was a bit of just a flick for Perez. And at the last moment, he, she realizes that there were two more defenders in between her and the goal. Tuloy earned themselves another chance. This is Mercado. Rollon. Tuloy will send it in once again. Lokban. And once again, not sure what Halike was trying to accomplish with that touch. Ball sails out once again. Looks like we have uh, two substitutes. About to enter for FEU. Mela Altice, player number eight, and player number 15, Erma Balakua. Set to replace their counterparts. Substitution for Far Eastern University, player number three. Christine Juliesa, replaced by player number 15, Elma Balacqua. 
substitution for Park. Erma Balakwa and Mela Altice. Replaced by player number eight. So Mela Altice. The goal scorer by Hani Kayabyab has been replaced. What a night it has been for her. Scoring the second goal for FEU, what is looking to be so far the insurance goal for the Lady Tamaraus. Seventy minutes into this contest with twenty more. The way it stands as Lukban threads the needle into Mercado. Although Lehayan has been pretty much solid with the decision making from a goalkeeper standpoint. Evangelista. It just goes wide as Lehayan challenged a bit. From distance, Evangelista decides to shoot. And luckily, it goes wide for FEU. Tuloy starting to rush a bit here. Knowing that time is not on the side. 18 more minutes. Plus the added time. Tuloy down two goals against FEU, which, of course, by the way it looks, will go on to join UP in the final next Saturday. Tolentin. This is another precarious moment for Tuloy. And it is denied by Abeto right in the nick of time from the cutback from FAU. But this offensive, for a moment we thought it wasn't over. But uh, Magbitang, no connection. Balakwa. Look at the keeper just go out and contest that possession. Well, there's a ball in the field. Jessame Lehayan, player number one. Designated goalkeeper for FEU. Another calculated risk made by the keeper going out of the box and then just challenging Perez. Evangelista being bothered by the substitute Balakua. Substitution for Tuloy FC. Angel Kalamatan has uh, replaced Arjan Bolivar. Only the second substitute for Tuloy in this match. They have used up two of their chances. You can only replace a player or a bunch of players, three instances throughout regulation for a maximum of seven substitutes. Perez is able to salvage control of that and delay what could have been a counter for FAU. And now it is Tuloy on the counter threading the needle for Perez but too much power on the ball.
not even the fastest sprinter could get to that on time. The FEU obviously just in total control of this match with about 15 more minutes to make it official. Rullion to Kalatin. FAU slowly but surely, they can sense it. They have this in the bag and they're also adjusting quite a bit. Trying to add more pressure for Tuloy. They're just wary of their ability, Tuloy's ability to counter. And that is why they are not going extremely high. Tuloy also trying to press. Time is not on their side. Mercado going to the ground. Too many golden green shirts disrupting the path of that pass. Tolentin sends a through ball, but the flag is up. Throw in for FEU. Just about a baker's dozen minutes here in regulation. Deloy FC, that door is slowly closing for them as FEU built this 2-0 separation. Well, whatever the result of this contest will be, which as it stands, FEU is on an impending victory in a trip to the final. To Loy FC, much has been said about their campaign. Number two seed with five wins, one draw against the finalist UP and just one loss against Kaya. FEU, they have the numbers here. And that will definitely do it for them. And Dai Tolentin, the captain, punches it in. And the Lady Tamaraus are on their way to the final of the PFF Women's Cup. They remain onside. They had the numbers three University. against none. By player number five, Dionessa Tolentin. And there was nothing much Micah Abeto could do that time around. Indai Tolentin. If two goals weren't enough, well, that is indeed the insurance goal at that. And look at. 
FEU continuing their offensive here. Tuloy able to recover ever so slightly as we enter the final 10 minutes of this contest. Just about 10 more minutes of regulation here. And all that's left to wait for is the final score. Lukban. Substitution for Far Eastern University. Player number five, Yonesa Tolentin. Replaced by player number 23. Marianel Cristobal! Len Len Cristobal has come on to replace Indai Tolentin, the latest goal scorer for FEU who pretty much seals this one for the green and gold. Well, Toloy FC nothing to be ashamed of for Toloy FC once again mostly in their teenage years youngsters who are all Beaming with potential in the sport of football. A great program that they have there in Alabang. But this evening, will belong to FEU in just a few more minutes. UP and FEU, they will take their college rivalry into the PFF Women's Cup stage next week. That will be Saturday, December 17, still here at the uh, PFF National Trading Center. Well, UP, they have one women's championship in the UAAP. FEU, of course, one of the most dominant forces in the women's UAAP football wars. They have 10, which is the second most all-time, right behind the 11 of De La Salle University, who are also PFF Women's Cup winners before. Three nil with about six more minutes and change. No complacency on the part of FEU. Lukban is unable. To keep that ball in play.
Cristóbal. Mermal hits the field. Duloy FC, final five minutes plus added time. As we, of course, just await the impending result, which is a 3 0 victory for FEU. Far Eastern University, they defeated UP in the elimination round 2-0 last month. In that contest, it was uh, Indai Tolentin and Regine Rebusura who scored for them as a testy moment for FEU. Leha Yan barely escapes trouble there as she finally manages to collect well, for a moment Tuloy almost taking one back Magbitang of course with the opening goal This lob will just go straight to the midst of Micah Abeto. She's uh, done her best, but FEU's offense was just too much for this evening. Well, Tuloy FC once again. They should be proud of themselves, of the run that they have made here in the 2022 PFF Women's Cup. Lorraine Evangelista, nine goals. Jenny Perez, seven goals. Those two. As we have this substitution, Elna Rose Bongol replacing Laika Jane Cuenco. That is, uh, of course, the final substitute, presumably for FEU, with just about two more minutes plus whatever amount of stoppage time. They have. Taken control of this contest. A dominating approach for the Lady Tamaraos. And it's going to be such an intriguing, interesting final next week. FEU and UP. As uh, we are about to enter injury time, let's also take this uh, opportunity to, of course, congratulate the Filipinas. Job well done once again for the Philippine women's national football team. A 5-1 win over uh, Papua New Guinea as they conclude uh, the year 2022 with their final training camp and continue to prepare for the uh, FIFA Women's World Cup next year. A 
additional time, three minutes. Three more minutes of football here inside the uh, PFF National Training Center. As all that is left is to determine the final score. But of course, this is going to be an FAU victory over Tuloy, the same team that beat them 1-0 in the elimination round. They have served their revenge, and it's going to be FEU and UP in the final. And another effort there for FEU, that was uh, Cristobal. It's been that kind of an evening for Abeto. But, uh, well, credit to her, she stood her ground against the toughest of challenges. In the end, Lady Tabarouse are just too much. Le Lehayan likewise had some few moments where she was tested. Bongol unable to attend to that ball. Although, last touch from a Tuloy player. Able to turn, but no follow up for FEU. But this is what you like about Coach Let Dims on and her side. Playing it until the final whistle. The kind of consistency and high level that you need. This is obviously momentum entering the championship match. Moments away from the final whistle. And we thank you all for supporting us here. Once again, this is your PFF Women's Cup. Coming to you live from the PFF National Training Center, which has been the home of this tournament. Tuloy getting into their attacking third. But there will be no consolation. Once again, we thank you all for joining us via our Facebook platform, and that will do it. Far Eastern University will move on and advance to the final against Ladies UP. The final score is 3 Bill in Dietolentin. Katrina Magpitang. Laihani Kayabyab. Three different goal scorers for Far Eastern University as they control this one and beat Tuloy. FC. The stage is set for the final. Far Eastern University and their UAAP counterparts, University of the Philippines. That will kick off next week on Saturday in the same venue. That will be December 17. Of course, Tuloy FC and Kaya FC will still play the battle for third. What an evening of football it has been for the PFF Women's Cup. That will do it for us here and on behalf of the entire PFF Women's Cup 2022 production team. This has been Levi Verora, as I always say, wherever you are, wherever you're from, we'll see you at the games.